Today we'll look at how to optimize the performance of a drag brace with NX Performance Predictor and Design Space Explorer. If you don't have the toolbar on, you can turn it on by right-clicking in the toolbar area. Then we'll create a new analysis. We'll begin by selecting the resolution for our analysis. Then we'll go into the Performance Predictor Navigator to see what we need to complete in order to get our results. And you can see we have insufficient data for our analysis constraints and loads. And also the default material that's selected is steel. And here we'd rather use aluminum for our design. So I'll make that change by going into our material library and finding our 6061 aluminum. And here you can see that in the navigator. Next we'll assign a constraint. Here I'll select a fixed constraint on one face and we'll create a load. Here I'll create a force of 111 pounds in the X direction on this other face. That will be evenly distributed over the face area. All right, now that we have all of our requirements completed, you can see the performance predictor is running, and here this is in real time, and you can see our absolute maximum displacement and absolute maximum stress. Here, if we don't like where the markers are coming out, we can drag those wherever we'd like. And here we're seeing the displacement results, which are about 14 thousandths max displacement under those loads and constraints. We can also see a contour plot of our stress results as well. Here you can see we have about 7 KSI on one of the blends. Let's go back to our displacement results and here we can also animate an exaggerated deflected view of our results. One of the advantages of Performance Predictor over the Stress and Vibration Wizard is if we make a change, we don't have to start over from scratch. So here we'll make a change to our drag brace to make it a little bit thicker. And I also want to include the pockets. Here we want to extend the pockets, so I'll select a few more faces to get the pockets to extend here as well. And if I've made a bad pick, I can use the shift key to deselect that one particular face that I did not want and then select the ones that I do want. All right, so now our pocket has been extended with thickening the drag brace. And here immediately what you'll see is the performance predictor updates our analysis and shows the effect of that change on our results measure. So you can see the values for the maximum displacement and stress both have decreased as a result of making that change. And here we can see it's at about eight thousandths for our max displacement. Well, let's say that we're okay if we go up to ten thousandths of an inch, but we'd like to optimize the weight of the part for that particular performance requirement. What we can do is run a study using the Design Space Explorer. So here I've created a study and then we'll go ahead and work left to right by defining our design variable which is going to be that thickness variable that we just created and here we'll allow it to vary continuously from negative 0.1 inches to a quarter of an inch where we are currently. Then we can specify a design constraint. Here we'll use one of our result measures for our maximum displacement. And we want to make sure that that's less than or equal to ten thousandths. And lastly, we'll specify our design objective, which is going to be to minimize our weight. All right, now that we have that completely specified, we'll go ahead and run it. Here we can specify if we want to save just the best 
result or all of them. I'll say all of them and we'll run it through 10 iterations and then we can also determine whether or not we want the display to update and I've paused the video here while it ran and you can see the last iteration. That last iteration may not be the optimal so if we go to the results here you can see all of the iterations infeasible in yellow, feasible in white, and the best in green and if we want we can go ahead and right click on that and apply that design and you'll see our part will update as well as our performance predictor results. So here you can see now our, axima, our maximum displacement is below our ten thousandths and we've optimized our design.